and welcome back to the Silver and Black Radio Podcast. I'm your host, Raider Will, and I am here with my Silver and Black Radio Podcast family. I got my boy, Gunny Raider in Las Vegas. What's up, baby? What up? I got my boy, All In, from TBH Dallas. What up, baby? What up, what up? And I got my girl, Val. What's up, Val? How are you? Oh, deuces from Val. Yo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Val. Feliz cumpleaños. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. 21. You. You know, make sure that you uh you make sure you drink and drive and have a good time. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Michael's singing. No, I'm sober now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday to you. There it is. There it is. There it is. Wow. We're, we're using whole Finger. first names around here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Singer, dancer, you got a football middle name player too, extraordinaire. Everything, huh? everything you need, baby, all wrapped into one. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, today what we're gonna do? We're gonna talk about hey free agency, man. We got some free agency signings. We got some free agency losses. We're gonna grade the Raiders, and then we're gonna talk about hey Hondo brought it up. There, there is a potential trade for a superstar. So we're going to get our freaking detective glasses out and we're going to try to figure out who it is and who we'd like to see come back to the Raiders and be this superstar player. So y'all, hey, let's just get started. And we started out with a banger. I think we start, what was it, like 20 minutes into free agency, 30 minutes into free agency, something like that. And we bring in a war daddy up front to match up next to Max and make this defensive line just a plus 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 baby we bring in yeah, Wilkinson yeah. out of the dolphins right we give him 110 mil 84 mil guaranteed now guys what do you guys hey, think Wil about wilkins, that we brought wilkins. in wilkins okay we give wilkins 110 84.5 guaranteed so all in give me your evaluation and your thoughts on that move baby Man, that's the move we all wanted, right? We said it for weeks. Wilkins, Wilkins over Jones. You know, he he's graded as the better run stopper. He's getting about equal pressures as Jones. I think we we got the we got the guy, man. And he matches he matches Max's intensity, right, in his motor. He's the dude that'll get under the skin like Max does uh, of opponents. I love it, man. How do you not love it? If you don't love it, something wrong with you. Yes, sir. Gunny, thoughts? Yeah, man, I love it. Of course, we love it. That's what we, we, there's a big part of what we needed on defense, right? Even though defense kind of went off last year, at the, at the you know, the last, the tail, the back end of the season, I, I just, it's, we definitely needed that position. And we got a, we got a real, real, real player at that position now. I heard, I heard they're calling that D line death row. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> no. I love it. Hey. Death Row, Cartel, Condor Cartel, whatever it is. I'm telling you guys right now, we got four. Man, it's like the four horsemen of death up front. We got dogs. <laughs> hey, we they got, say Tyree's been working. Tyree's hey, been working with Max. I'm going to tell you guys something. Yeah. Yo, so I've been hearing about Wilkins, right? He's like, he is a religious dude when it comes to the way that he does things. He's a hard worker. He comes in there and he busts his butt. He does things on certain days of the week, working on hand stuff. Locker room and, guy. Yeah, locker room guy. I mean, a dude that is hungry. And you know what? What I see is a dude that's going to keep getting better. At 28 years old, he's young. Bro, mm. we gave him 27. 27 ain't too bad. He He's right above uh, the guy from the Ravens that got 25, right? Yeah. And then we're right below Chris Jones from – but what I see is a guy that's barely starting to, like, figure out how to pass rush from the inside. He had three and a half sacks this year. And this guy makes a lot of tackles, bro, that are, like, 10, 15 yards downfield. So, yeah. you know, he has a high motor. So, what I say is this, bro. When you put that pit bull right there and you put Max Crosby, the condor, Mr. Hey, he gives you 110, 99.9, 110, 110, not even 99.9. Yo, you got Malcolm Cooch, and you just said what Allen just said. You bring in Tyree, bro. 
hey, I'm telling the other, tw- or I'm calling the other team. If I'm the GM, I'm like, hey, make sure you have your backup ready. Because we coming, baby. We come- <laughs> Who are you going to block? Bro, where do you slide that double team? Where? No, it's beautiful. Back? Then you got three one-on-ones with those three dudes. Bro, we're going to win. You got a double team. You could Tyree. You could double team him inside, but then you're gonna go one on one with Malcolm Coots, Max Crosby, Wilkins, bro. There's no way that you can slide protection. You almost have to automatically go into sixty protection with the four man front. You I know, think Max gets the running sacks this year. He'd be so, stranded on death row. Exactly. Yo, <laughs> now, now, what was your first thoughts when we put that out on that post? We we talked about it for weeks. Did he say we got our guy? Did you say we got a one-two punch up front now? Maybe one, two, three, and four, bow, bow, bow. Oh, yes. Breaking shit. Yes. <laughs> bro, I'm excited right now. I mean, <laughs> yo, this is a defensive coordinator's dream. I'd be like, yo, I'm telling you right now. Look, I'm breaking more stuff. Oh, crap. I think I even opened up a new window. Yo, I'm telling you guys right now, Patrick Graham right now, bro, is uh, Mitchell Rents, you know, with him and his fake reports that he starts running around with <laughs> Kings. I'm telling you right now, bro, RDC was running around his house. You know what's wild that? to me, right? What'd you say, man? We announced the Wilkins signing in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. We'll say 30 minutes, right? And uh, uh, Pollard and Swift were the first players to come off the board, so to speak, right? In yeah. like 15 minutes. What's wild to me is, dude, these deals have been done for weeks, if not days. Days, yeah, if not sure. weeks. You know what I mean? So for they've sure. all known, all, all have known that Christian's coming. Because these, these contracts are too complex to work out in 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's why you start dates, and I'll be like, you can start calling on Monday. Right. You just can't seal the deal can, till Wednesday. He can make it public on Monday. Yeah, shoot, sure, bro. Hey, you know what I mean? I tell you what. It's just crazy. So, so I think, I think you know, coaches and coaches know that yeah. hey, man, this this deal this deal's done. Here's a contract because there's no way you're throwing out that uh, Wilkins contract in 20, 30 minutes. Bro. No. Oh, hey, look what we just put together over coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you like this. If, if it was that month, what was it, Monday at 11 o'clock Eastern? I tell you like this, the Raiders were like, beep, 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 beep. Woo, woo. What up, baby? What's going on? Hey, what is it going to take for me to get you here? You already know. I'd be like, bro, as soon as that tampering period opened up, right, that legal tampering, bro, it's like that one homie that you got that you're like, yo, I cannot, you cannot be around my girl, ma'am, because (laughs) you know he's going to be calling. I know the Raiders were like, yo, what up, baby? (laughs) You got to get rid of the old trash. Come over here, baby. Look, look, look at good and silver and black. See See what's over here. Hey, and, and I'm telling you, man, we sealed the deal. What a whale of a guy. I mean, like, yo, not only is he massive at 6'3", 330 or something like that, but, man, a, a big game-changing playmaker that we have. Now, fellas, another guy that we picked up when we re-signed – hold on, I got my tab here. Where the heck is it? Was Andre yeah, James. <laughs> yo, Andre <laughs> – there it is. No. Nah. Andre James. Yo, Andre James, guys, was a guy that I, – I, I'm going to start this one because I feel like we could have done a little bit better. I feel like there is a lot more guys out there or guys in the draft that we could have picked up, and he really suffered this year. I'm not going to say that the guy's a slouch or anything like that, but this year I really don't feel like he put in the he time. He the struggle of, bus for sure. Yeah. That that I would expect from our center, as you guys know, the center is the captain of the line, man. He makes all the calls up front. He makes sure that things straight up front. And I really feel like, you know, he lacked that. So while I think we got him at a good price, 
I really feel that we could have done better in, in that spot. Now, I don't think that he's a slouch, but right there for me, if I was to grade Andre James, I think we're right around a C, right? Yep. Right around a C minus. So, yo, hey, Gunny, give me your thoughts, my brother. I'm glad. I mean, the O line is still the most, uh, for me, the O line seems like still the one that needs the most work. You know, so uh, re-signing James could be could just be a depth thing, right? We need to get we need, well, that offensive line needs needs a lot of depth. Obviously, and they they weren't. I don't see them as being good last year. I know there was some stats out there where it was like they were okay, but man, I I don't see it. You know what I mean? I did not see that those 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 that offensive line was real good. I know they lost Colt Miller for a long long period of time. Um, Andre James struggled. I mean, Luminor struggled. Mister 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 Five Ten Yard Penalty Man over there, like he <laughs> he it was it's just all patched together, man. They need to they really need to do some work on that offensive line, or we're gonna suck again on offense. I don't care who's back there, man. It won't matter. It won't matter, but a depth is important. I think that might be a depth pickup, I, I hope. But they need to do some real work on the, in the draft. If they're not going to pick up any offensive linemen in this free agency period, they need to do some real work in the draft to get that offensive line going. Agreed. All in? Yeah, I'm there with you. I, I wasn't a big fan of, of seeing that come across my phone. Uh yeah, I don't. You know, they talked about oh, we're gonna revamp the line, right? So right now, three out of five starters are the same <laughs> as of right now. <laughs> Luminor, Luminor is gone, right? No, so, he ain't lying. so as of right now, you got Munford as your starting right tackle, and we don't have a starting right guard. Yeah, so I, I don't know where the big revamp is. Uh, if we stay at thirteen, man, uh, it's probably gonna piss a lot of people off. But I think they go tackle at 13 they're, they're gonna have to right you got to get a starter you got to get maybe you move colton over and bring in another left tackle i don't know but you gotta uh something has got to be done and i don't there's not a lot of free agents out there you know no, as far as the line goes and the good ones are gone yeah so arizona just released a tackle but fuck it tore he tore his achilles on new year's so that dude's not gonna play this year Mm-mm. true so Gunny just said something right there where he brought up the fact that this might be a depth move. Because as we have talked, it's like, hey, you know, obviously these guys are like, hey, we don't have another center. We let go of our backup center this year, which was grass, grassy, grass. I can't. I, yeah, I can't. Parham, you know, Parham played when James was out. Yeah. I'd be like, and you could see that. Now, did you know that according to PPF, Parham was actually our worst offensive line at 66 per, or at a 66 grade. Our bet uh, and James was at a 71. So maybe they were like, hey, maybe they saw some things that we didn't see that they're like, hey, this guy's being a little bit more successful at. Now, I totally agree with what you said. At 13, if we're not making a move up to get a quarterback, why not revamp that offensive line? Why not? Talent there. That's going to be there for the next 10 years, mm-hmm. right? That's how you build a team, supposedly. Now, we've been terrible, and I know a lot of people go like, oh, well, the Raiders suck at picking offensive line. Well, guess what? We've sucked at a lot, a lot of things, man. Well, the Raiders yeah. suck at our game. Game. But Period. we have to take a shot. <laughs> you know, we have to fill a position of need. And I really feel like, hey, AP has a plan that might not involve a quarterback in the first round. He really feels, I think, that we can get a decent guy in the second. Now, or we can move up later in the first round. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'll be honest, I don't know. At this point, I don't know what the fuck they're thinking. Right? We all thought a couple days into free agency, we can kind of have a direction, right? Uh, as to what what the draft is going to look like, nope. No, we have we have some big holes on offense right now. So we need a I, running back. Yeah, there we, we go. Guard. We, need we a have tackle. we have a direction. We know we that two corners, first round is going to go offense. I don't know though, because there there's some there's some legit 
they, they really like both Bama cornerbacks too. And we fuck, we need we needed one corner when we started. We lost the meat. Now we need two corners that are capable of starting. Well, Hobbs can start in the slot. Right? Who else you got? Hobbs and Jack Jones. That's it. Okay, hold on. You got Jack Jones on the outside. You got Hobbs on the inside. And we did say Kendall Fuller's still out there. Oh, there's definitely uh, Alexander's out there. There's some dudes out there. So we like, just got to see the way dude. free agency plays out. But And I, I would still like to go get one of the linebackers. You got Kenneth Murray out there. That dude could play. Yeah, He's so young. I, so I he should have been a fucking back. Raider. Our defense through free agency, and I think they're going to revamp our offense through the draft. Maybe. Look, the, in my opinion, man, the defense obviously is going to what's carry is going to carry this team, right? The offense has to be better than it was last year. We're not talking a top fifteen, top ten offense. We just got to get shit. I, we'd be better if we just got to number twenty. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to flip the switch on that since Bless you said you. offense, you. right? Guys, and, and you know what? The first person that I saw post about this was actually Val, okay? Was Mesh or Mishu signing, right? We can pick up Gardner Mishu from, I, I can't pronounce his last name. My buzz. Minshu. 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 Yeah. Minshu, all right? It's Yo, weird. So, we pick him up. And I mean, like, I'm going to tell you guys right now. About half of Raider Nation almost fucking died. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, oh, yes. it was all over. Who's our starter? We're, we're, are you kidding me? We signed in a, a backup. This is a band aid. This is a guy that can't make it happen. This is a guy that blah, blah, blah. That was in the few people that I saw that she was like, oh, I like this signing. I think he's a good sign. I think he's a good player. I thought he's an upgrade over AOC. A hundred percent. Yes. For yeah. the mere fact he'll extend the plays with his legs. Mm-hmm. And you, I'm gonna tell you guys something too. The guy's a winner. Yep, bro. Hundred percent. I'd be like, he won in guy, Philly, Jacksonville. He won last year. Dude, I'd be like, he beat us last year. He made us so look old, stupid. So old boy, third string yeah, in Chicago sure too. Did. So. <laughs> I'd be like, no, but I'm just saying, you're right. No, he did. He did. He beat us, man. And I mean, like, at the end of the day, what I say is this, all right? He's a winner, man. I don't care if it's pretty. One thing we said, this defense is going to carry us to a championship. We just need an offense that's going to give us more points, that's going to generate offense, that's going to keep them off the field. Are you telling me with Gardner Menchu that we won't be moving the sticks a little bit more than with AOC? Yeah. 100%. 100%. I, 100% believe so. Yeah. Uh, uh, DA DA's stats will go up this year for sure. Um, you know, even Jacoby Myers will have a better season. Everybody everybody on offense will have a better season overall. What meant you throw for? Like 3,600 yards last year? Yeah, yeah, something like that. And I believe I saw somebody post that the Colts, they were near top 10 offensively under him. Yeah, they were. <laughs> and he catches – he catches a lot of shit, man, because he's he's him and Baker are really similar, right? They're that gunslinger mentality, right? They're gonna fucking hey, they might they'll probably lose you a game or two. Guaranteed. Yeah. I'd be like that but, fucking mustache is not there for nothing. Right, it's no, a it's fucking not, gunslinger, baby. It's, it's yeah. a fucking gunslinger. Fucking hey, all, I mean, we <laughs> talked for weeks, right, about the quarterback position since before the season ended, and what was the number one thing we all said? A vet needs to come in this offseason, yep. whether that's a guy who's going to start or whether that's a guy who's going to just be in the quarterback room. Do you guys remember when we did the list? Yeah. We went through the, all the free agency list. Who did we all say was a guy that would fit our system, that would come in at a good price and be a good vet? Yeah, and also understands and, that he's a backup if, we, yeah. if, if need be. Yeah. That's where he's at, yeah. Yeah, he's a so French starter. I, we and I think Val was like, talk, I, bro, because I, I saw the post and I just kind of read through the post and Val was like, yo, this is a good signing. He's a solid player. I like, go ahead, Val, go ahead. Hit him, hit him with the Val. Yeah, I like this one. And then Alan came back <laughs> with like, you should be happy with all of the signings today. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, yeah, the way you post no, that was on Jason Dean's post. Yeah, oh. but I that was on Jason Dean's post because I'm like, damn, you're only happy about the quarterback? Shit, no, we, got the, would... we got the hottest name in free agency, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. You know what? We got. I cannot believe, and all in said it, dude. This year, we're in the mix for free agency. Yeah, we made a no, we, we made a splash on day one. On day one, we signed a big whale. I was it's like, usually day three. <laughs> and we're signing a guy that I'm like, oh, he ran a four two one. Great, yeah. <laughs> another one. <laughs> what, yo? Another signing that I think is going to be key key for us because all in brought in the fact too that a hey, we need running backs, right? We bring in we bring back Amir Abdullah. Okay, Amir Abdullah might not be this big name guy. He might not be this guy that's like yo, this guy's a beast. But what I like is that he brings uh, diversity to our backfield. Okay, he does everything that Zamir White can't. Catches the ball well out of the backfield. He's a guy that's a third down back that knows it and can play special teams. Yep. You know, so, and at the price that we brought him in, bro. It's not bad. We still need to get another though. running back for sure. You know, and yeah, so, I don't know. Go if ahead, Johnny. Be I don't you think like it's going to be a vet at all. No, it's nope. going to be as bad as I want it to be a vet. I think I think you're right. I think it's going to be a rookie in the draft, probably rounds four through six. Yeah, late, late, late round rookie. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. So, hey, guys, another guy that we just picked up, okay, is the tight end from the Browns, Harrison. Okay, I didn't know I watched this guy play all too much. I'm like, but all in hit something there that he's a blocking tight end, that he's a big That's, physical yeah. guy, that That's he what I read. flies off the ball. So if we got a big physical tight end with the scheme that we're running, and this is why I also like Meshu, because all in said something, hey, Luke Getzey is known for what? Right. Running the rock. rock. Right? So what happens when you got a guy that you run the rock a lot, that everything's like that? Then you use what? Play action, right? And Gardner Meshu is good at play action. Yeah, mm-hmm. he is. He, he is good on the move. When that pocket is moving, he is an absolute beast. So I can see where he fits in. You know, where you can hand off the rock. All these pieces are starting to fit. You know, we got Wilkins, who we brought in. He fits in with Max, okay? Amir Abdullah, he fits in with the things that he does. Yep, and he's been here. James, again, I think it was more for depth, but it's also a position of need, okay? So all these draft or all these free agency guys, yo, they make sense. It's There wasn't a guy that I was sitting there, I was like, yo, why the fuck did we sign that guy? Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense, and we're not overpaying. Yep. And, and, and here's the thing about James, too, right? So – we're back to James real quick. Okay. He, so when he became the starter, that was under Gruden, right? Mm-hmm. Gruden traded away Hudson, made James a starter, and he had a productive year. McDaniels comes in. I don't know who the O-line coach was, but he wasn't as good as Tom Cable. I know that. So maybe There's this O-line few. coach, man, thinks, thinks he can get James back to playing the way he did two years ago. Yep. Yeah. No, I no, no. I hope so. I mean, like, yeah. I really hope so. I mean, like, if he can pick up his game like that, it's like Gunny said, bro. I hope so, because if he does, hey, man, that's what you want. Your war daddy's up front. Yeah. To get that, you know, to, they probably right. yeah. So, hey, guys, we've talked a lot about the guys that we did sign and, uh, and guys that we did keep. Now, let's talk a lot, a little bit, <laughs> not a lot, a little bit about the guys that we're going to miss, all right? Hey, obviously the big name, Josh Jacobs. Gone for four years, $48 million to the freaking Green Bay Packers, all right? I'd be like, that contract is funky as hell. I don't understand it. I'd be like, but I am not a lawyer, and I'm not getting paid by it, so I'm not trying to understand it. 
<laughs> so, he didn't uh he didn't go to Dallas and he didn't stay in the division. So yeah, I, hope, I hope the best for him, man, and it you can't be mad at a guy for wanting to get the bag, especially at the running back position. If someone's gonna take if someone's gonna give it to you, you gotta take it. Just it no different than uh what was his name out here in Dallas uh years ago went to Philly Murray. DeMarco yeah, Murray. Yeah. The Mur- Dallas yeah. didn't want to pay him. I mean, and look, Dallas was right, but because he didn't do shit when he left. But you can't, nope. can't fault the guy for wanting to chase his money, man. Yep. We, we do that every day. Sure do. No, hey, yo, Gunny, thoughts on that? Man, I, of course, I'm going to miss Josh Jacobs, man. I, I mean, every time I, every time you got down to the five-yard line, it was like Josh Jacobs time for me. You know what I mean? I was like, run that shit four fucking times you have to. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't know if we have the same in, in Zamir White, but – he did show some flashes last year. I, I I hope. I mean, I hope. I wish him the best, man. You know what? The one I'm really broken up about is fucking Amik Robertson, man. That's the one man. that really sucks to me. Man, man, I mean? that contract. Oh, that contract was cheap. Yeah, I know. He didn't even like get that. Two years, nine million or something stupid. But let me ask this: Do you think that's the best offer he got, or do you think he was just like, hey? This we might have offered him a contract, or did we offer him a contract? I don't know. I don't know. Never came out. Huh. Interesting. All I all I know is now we need two more corners. Yeah. So hey Val, what's your thoughts on losing JJ? I, I know you have an opinion on that. Just wish him the best. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I She's like, it. you're not a Raider no more. Fuck your yeah. team. No, hey, my mom, my mom be acting the same way. She's like, she's like, see you later. By, by the like, way, we got to get Mama the Gunny Geo Raider game. on the show. By someday, the way. man. Someday. Someday we'll put her on. We, we got to get her on the show ASAP. She's a fucking psychopath, man. You guys will love her. <laughs> you guys will love her. <laughs> That's just the way we love our mothers. We call them psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> but hey all right guys we lose Illuminor on the offensive line um Illuminor I, I really didn't think of him as a big loss the reason is I really feel like this year bro he played way below his ability he started talking shit so much in the, you know what he was like oh now we're the bookends for for the Raiders and I think his mouth made a check that he couldn't cash mm-hmm. and after that I think his game just kept going down and down and down. And I mean, like, well, you know, they moved him around, and he is a guy. And I think that's why Carmen Bursillo took him to New York, a guy that can play multiple positions. But I'm telling you right now, I don't feel like that guy's on the up and up anymore. He's, he's on definitely on the downslope of his career. So what do you guys think about that? Man, yeah, fuck him. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I really don't. Oh, well, Mr. Five, like, five Guard penalty, bro. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, people keep sharing all his posts about, you know, how juicy he is to play for the Giants and put on that blue helmet. That shit's gay. See ya. Yeah, I don't. I couldn't care less, bro. To yeah. be honest with you, Mr. Dri- Mr. Drive Killer himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Hey, you know what? I love it that we're all on the Val train when you leave our team. <laughs> nothing nothing to say about that. <laughs> Yo, but last but not least, man, and this is a guy that we actually did not let go, but we let him go. We let go Renfro, man. Third and Renfro, I'd be like, hey, I love the guy. I think, like, he's definitely a special person because the way that he interacts with fans, he's a good dude, just a good dude on the field and off the field, and you can tell all that. But the production had went down. And I mean, like, way down. You know, honestly, after Chucky left, I feel like um, McDaniels didn't have a plan for him, and other teams didn't know how to use him, or other coaches Which is didn't fucking use him. wild, because he fit the mold of Wes Welker, Amendola, and those type uh-huh. of dudes in New England, right? Yeah. But he's the type of dude that needs to to freestyle, so to speak, right, to get open. Right, yeah. he goes. He goes off route, and, and McDaniel's wasn't about that life. 
and it's crazy to me though but i mean like if you think about it it's like you guys said this guy is a guy that can get open, that can make plays, that has always made plays for us. Yes, I know that this year he didn't have an electric year. Every time he touched the ball, though, you know, you, you could see the guy still wants to make plays. Now, the biggest thing I thought is why didn't we trade him? Why didn't we get any value for him? Before Imagine because we of that contract. Who's, who's going to take money. on that contract for a guy that – did he even have 500 yards? Mm-hmm. Make it right. too much so who, who, so Mark, Mark fucked us on that deal, right? He should have let Ziegler finish that deal with New Orleans and then fired Ziegler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. like for sure, he put everything on hold and said, "Ain't nobody going nowhere." Deuces, you're out. Fuck you. See ya. Yep. No, should have no. let him finish the deal, but at the end oh, of the he'll, day, he'll end up in New Orleans. Well, you oh, just, just sure. watch. Well, I, Guaranteed he's going to go to New Orleans. And he's going to go to New Orleans cheap. Mm -hmm. And probably have a good year. Yep. And I mean, like, if we if that happens, I'm telling you right now, I'm looking at our coaching staff and saying, bro, what is going on here that we cannot get this type of production out of this dude? Well, if you go I think at this else, point, it makes it happen. I think at this point, hard, with Getsy, it's right now, it's strictly about money, right? Yeah. What do you renegotiate? I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that was ever talked about. But it's strictly, it's strictly about money. I think right now. Yeah. And that's why I, he I, had he, to go. We, we, we can't have a guy at that production on the books for nine million, eight million, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, like as much as you we like to do. Him coming back at a cheaper price. I don't know. I mean, probably not, man. I think he's going to go to New Orleans. He already said his goodbyes. He's out. Yeah. Um, you know, and that he was one of the first players to speak out after McDaniels left, talking about how uh, how how yeah, refreshing it, it is to not have to walk on eggshells mm -hmm. when you're in the building, yeah. right? Yeah, McDaniels sure absolutely crushed that dude's soul. I think he, yeah. he I, I really do, man. He just, I think uh, so too. Yeah, McDaniels just crushed that dude. Yep, and that's the key. I mean, like players can do. That's why players need good coaches. Let me clarify this, okay? Players need good oh. coaches because you come in, and as a coach, you can make a player better or you can make him worse. And I feel Josh yeah. McDaniels is just a guy that makes every single player in that locker room worse. So, 100%. He doesn't make anybody better. No, nothing at all. And, you know, and, and uh, you know, let's not let Renfro completely off the hook, right? Because in Mc, McDummy's first year, you know uh, – I mean, there were a lot of things that cost us the Arizona game, but his fumble at the two fumbles at the end of the game hurt yeah. us. Yeah. It's, not like he played, it's not like he was playing lights out, man. Right. No, Injuries no. hurt him. I mean, he fumbled and and arguably cost us the Minnesota game this year, right? Or at least mm -hmm. you know we could have could have had a tie game going at the going into overtime. Yep. No, absolutely, absolutely. So and you know he's not one hundred percent off the hook either, but. Uh, but just to see the change in the dude, you you could tell, man. Like, yeah, that dude just crushed it's shot. Yeah, yep. but I, I, you know, a lot of his production, I think, had a lot to do with Derek Carr too, man. You know what yeah. I mean? Because he was always looking for him. But yeah. you have so, that connection when you have that they connection. Have that connection. With the quarterback. These, guys, these guys weren't looking for him at all. Exactly. You know the the Pro Bowl year he had that was that was year three together. Mm -hmm. Yep. So and that's, that's, that's and if you ask me if I'm sad about it, I'm not. Like I haven't I haven't seen the guy in three years. So <laughs> Right. You know what <laughs> I mean? You know, you're not lying. I mean so like I'm that's where it's it. like, hey, you know Good luck, man. Yeah. People have this thing about them where they go like they remember this one season. And I go like, bro, so long ago, hey, it's not what you did, it's what you, or what you're doing for me now. Yeah. What have you done for me lately? Exactly. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so, all right, guys. yo, so we've talked about all the stuff that's going on in free agency. Now, at pick 13, okay, what are your guys' expectations from the things that you guys see? We know that it's not going to be a defensive pick. I'll be like, it's going to be very, it'll be a, a very rare thing, we think, or I think at least. Now, let me get your thoughts on right now the way that the, if we pick at 13. What are we picking? What are we drafting? Don't give me a name. Just give me a position, okay? 
you know, because when we start thinking about names, you know, give me a position, you know, you guys got a name that, that, that's in your head. So, hey, I'm going to start with Gunny. Gunny, give me a name if we stay at 13. Position. 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 Yeah, a position. It's hard to say, man. It's hard, it's hard to say, honestly. I mean, what would we get after corner? Even though we're horrible at drafting corners. Like, one of the worst teams ever I've seen draft corner. We've we almost never hit on that. Um, offensive line is important. Quarterback is obviously extremely important. So, I, it's hard to say, man. It's, it's, you need to see where the chips are falling, where the cards are laying. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's hard to pull one, one, one position and say we need, we need to get that at 13 when we do have needs in other places. The defense, I don't know if it's such a huge need because our D-line can sustain now. You know, that death row line is going to be fucking on fire, but. Death row! <laughs> We really, really need offensive linemen, man. I, I, you know what? And even even if we just grab grab a good offensive lineman and roll with Minshew or, you know, like we were talking about earlier, grab that second, grab a quarterback in the second, which will still be some good quarterbacks out there. We got to do something, man, because we got – we got that offensive line is not good. It's, it's no. just not good, man. That's the most important thing for me right now, I think, is the offensive line. Okay, so you're going offensive line at 13. All in. What you got at thirteen? And I think uh, it's either it's either going to be a tackle or it's going to be a DB. Man, I, I can't decide which. Uh, I really thought we'd have a clearer picture. He'd be like, "Yeah, man, that's what we're doing at 13. But shit, we, we still got have- a lot of holes to fill. We and we just don't have that clear picture yet. But I, I think if we stay put at thirteen, man, it's got to be yeah. I, as unsexy of a pick as it is, it's got to be the trenches, right? It's got to be that O line. Yeah, and think about it too, though, man. We still we still have this second half of free agency coming up. We had yeah. our first oh, half yeah, yeah. that we knew were going to be free agents, and now we got the guys that are about to get cut. That and are there's about still to- some dogs out there that ain't even that aren't even get, that are out there still. Yeah, you so still we got still- Jahir Alexander. You still got Fuller from Washington. Uh, you there, still got Kenneth still Murphy. Murphy. You still got some 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 dudes out there there's still some time still some time to figure it all out absolutely now hey you guys are clearing up my picture right i got my goggles on i'm ready to go i see the picture now man i did like you guys are giving it to me i feel (laughs) like there's a lot of guys out there man defensively right so i'm with gunny we need those road graders and you're gonna pick up a young war daddy up front because guess what we are a run first offense. There's a lot of sexiness out there on defense for free agency, man. There's a lot of daddies, but there's not very many big sexies from the up front. No, sir. Nope. That's why no, I'm like, hey, we need to And the good ones have been scooped up. Yes. So I think we at 13, we might be able to pick up one of the top three linemen in the draft. For sure, because I still think five quarter – Four to five QBs are going in, in the top yeah, eleven. So yeah, if you're able to pick up one of the top three linemen in the draft, bro, I'm okay with that. Again, that protects Minshew, whoever we got back there. Freaking sack of potatoes, you got them back there. Throw a sack of potatoes back there. We're protected all day. Hey, I'm <laughs> still sticking with my uh, my prediction. We're gonna go get a guy, man, in the draft. I think so. Oh, too. He says we're moving up. Okay. I still, man, I still. Who are we trading with then, all in? If we're trading up right now, think about it. Put your put your thinking cap on, all right? Honestly, man, right now, I think I think there's a legit shot the Bears trade number one. What? What? To trade the number oh. one? Yeah. I, I think there I think there's a, a legit chance that they do that. You think they'd roll with Justin Fields for another year and pass up on Caleb Williams, Drake May, and uh, Jaden Daniels? There's a chance, yeah. All right. You be- give me – oh, you be- you better spill the beans. You better give me some more. You said, <laughs> okay, there's a chance. Hey, hey, what, I, you been say- say- what do you I've see? I've been saying it. I've been saying it, right? No, no, like- but I'd be like, okay, so what – okay, put- tell me why in, in your mind – okay. Chicago has this guy that now is devalued at the quarterback position because they couldn't trade him, and, and I don't even know what's Matt going Jones's on with, deal. you know, Justin Fields, right? 
Now, you said, hey, I feel like, yo, they might trade off one. What, what's giving you that feeling? What's giving you that incline that they're going to be riding with the Bills? Who would they trade okay. with? For us, why not? Do you think they'd trade all the way back to 13? Maybe. Depends on what they're getting for it. And, and, and you got uh, that, or maybe they maybe they stay at one, take Harrison Jr., get another dog at, on offense, and Wait, maybe the Patriots hey. move out. So, Okay, let's say Harrison Jr., right, gets drafted number one, which, hey, I'm telling you right now that everybody's draft board is going to start bing, 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 because, hey, if you need a quarterback, you know that you can get a top three guy yeah. in the top four, right, or yeah. top five. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I just – man, I, I've said it from, from day one. I just – I got a. I, I had a feeling that we were going to make a big move. I don't, maybe it happens. Maybe it doesn't. But no, no. I, I'm just saying. I'm like, you really feel like we're going to trade with Chicago? Man, it, I think anything's possible at this point. Ooh. Chicago's holding their cards really fucking close. Well, and but at the same time, do you think that's been a good thing or a bad thing? I'd be like, with Justin I Fields think, right now, I think do you the feel his value has gone up or down? I, well, I think the Mac Jones deal with Jacksonville in New England, I think that absolutely killed it, right? Like, all you got – they're in the same draft, four picks apart. And all you got from Mac Jones was a six. And yeah. they, you could argue statistically they've been the same player. Um, now, I did – I was listening to uh, NFL on XM and Charlie Weiss, you know, one of the great coaches, he said that he uh, – as of last night, he was told – Fields to the Raiders is still very much alive. Bro, I believe it. I believe I it. Too. I believe I, hey, and why wouldn't it? Because look, I mean, so you got Minshew, right, who got backup money. You got Fields, who's still on his rookie deal for, no, I mean, what, $6 million? You're under $20 million in the quarterback room. Yep. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, right? I, I'll take I, it. I would take, I would still take Fields, too. I, would I see two vows right now. Yeah, that's yeah, weird. Two vowels. There it oh, is. There it is. Became one. <laughs> <laughs> that explains hey, no. confused looks. <laughs> yeah, well, we were very confused. Yeah, no, I, I agree, man. I agree. I, I, think Phil, I mean, in, even then, I would take Fields, man. If you if you stayed put at thirteen, hell, if if all you had to give up, say say you had to give up a fifth for Fields. Oh, if we or, give up a fifth, we stole yeah. him. I mean, I mean that's yeah. you put him in the bag and you run. We can yeah. fill. We can fill so many other holes, man. At yeah. this point, I think even a fourth is is. I think a fourth is the highest you you could go for Fields right now. Yeah. And like I said, that the the Mac Jones deal. I said it when it happened. That deal absolutely killed Fields' value. Uh, you know, I agree. Hey, so we talked about at the very beginning of the show. Okay, Hondo had brought up the subject that there is the potential for a superstar trade to the Raiders, okay? We've talked about it where we said superstar is like a basketball word, okay? This means 100%. it has to be a guy that's a game changer, a guy that is so dynamic that he changes the surface of the game, right? Or, or, and I'd be like, there's very far and few guys like that. In, in the league, mind. for sure. Okay, so... Let's throw out some speculation. Let's throw out some freaking thoughts here. Okay. Mike. Okay. <laughs> Who do you think? Okay. Give me a name. Superstar player. Okay. Game change. That you would like to see the, the Raiders make a trade for if possible. If it's not a quarterback, I don't really – I don't think there is a superstar that's a game changer. You know what I mean? That's right. I, when, we're look, when we're looking at who, who's the top top quarterbacks in the league, you know what I mean? You got Mahomes, you got you got, uh, you got Burrow, you got fucking Jackson, you got – these guys, it's like five of them. You know what I mean? If, you that, five, if that. You know? If hey. that, right? If that. So, I mean, Micah Parsons, like I think you mentioned earlier, that kid's a game changer on defense, but – 
Is he? I mean, what did he do? What did he do for the Cowboys? Did he win a did he win a championship for the Cowboys? He sure fucking didn't. So I, I, no, I, mean, I, didn't. I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know who it could be, man. And honestly, I think maybe Hondo's talking out his ass. So <laughs> hey, hey, that's, that's, that's the way. That's, that's the way. That's 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 yeah. All right. Hey. So I'm gonna hit you with this. You threw out a name right now that for some reason that team seems like it's just burning down. Oh, yeah. Dang. You threw out Burrow, okay? I see the fucking flames from Arlington all the way out here in Corny. <laughs> yeah, bro, I was like, there's something definitely going on up there that nobody knows about. Mm-hmm. Dude, the only running back they have on the roster is Deuce McAllister. Bro, that yep. dude's older Deuce than me. No, not and Deuce. I mean, like, I'm sorry. Back uh, just walking no, up Deuce is back. no who, who's not Deuce McAllister. My bad. The, uh, his name is Deuce. I forget his last name. He's like fucking five foot nothing. He's the scout's son. Um, I, I forget his name, man. But he, the dude's like five four, five five, five six, something like that. It's the only back they have on the on the roster. Well, T. Higgins sign and trade. I mean, Joe Mixon released. I mean, that's it's where been I'm a like, wild few days. So I could see that. I'd be. Could you see that? Burrow to the Raiders? That would be interesting. Oh, <laughs> damn, that, that is, you heard that it here first. <laughs> That's that, wild. That, is, that is a superstar. Yeah, I guess. And that yeah, was, I'd be I like, was just hey, talking out of my ass. No. <laughs> I, I, hey, bro. I'd be like, yo, you dropped the name and I just it just hit me right now. And I was like, Yeah, I didn't think yo, about that. That 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 could be it. Now, that, hey. That's funny. That's wild. So <laughs> Joey B, Joey B in silver and black. Come on now. Woo! Hey, smoking! We got hey, me smoking. You can't let that dude run wild in Vegas. No, nah, oh, oh, Joe Burrow. <laughs> he loves it here, bro. He loves it here for sure. Yo, all in thoughts. Who's the superstar dude, guy? I don't know, man. I've been pondering it since I heard it, and I'm like, who the fuck could that dude be talking about? Because I told you that when I think superstar, I think NBA, right? Yeah. A superstar in the NBA is your is your franchise guy, the face of your franchise, your your you know your money maker, the dude who's putting the asses in the seats, you know your LeBron, your Steph, you know AD, those kind of guys. I I don't know, man. Yeah. So I thought basketball too. I thought LeBron James is going to come play tight end for the Raiders. Oh yeah. Lord, no, fuck Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah. I can't wait. I can't be, wait for hey, him we might be getting all sorts of PI calls. Uh, he might be falling in all sorts of places. He's falling all over the place, man. But he can't play football. He's too much of a fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here Sorry. first, please. You heard it here first, guys. <laughs> yeah. And LBJ, Dallas, Texas, all in. He's down there. Go check him out. <laughs> hey, hey, there's video proof. That dude's a pussy. <laughs> Yo, so I'm going to tell you guys, I, I did the same thing as soon as you brought that up to me all in. But when Gunny mentioned Joe Burrow, that name just, <laughs> just reverberates in my mind to think about right now just the way that he has his attitude. Bro, he fits the Raider mold. Yeah, he's a superstar for sure. That hey, he's a real. superstar. But, hey, again, we don't know. We're just making speculations, just making talk. But hey, that dude's getting paid this year, too. I saw uh, he's making the most money this year. That dude's getting $69 million. Jeez. <laughs> Damn. I, I don't even know how to count that high, bro. How many zeros is that? Jeez, That's bro. Wild, That's buddy. Too Not many zeros for me. But, yo, guys. Hey, we want you guys to click like, click subscribe. Make sure you guys share. Make sure you guys keep messaging us on Facebook, on YouTube. We're trying to get back to all of you guys. There's some people with some outlandish messages. But you know what? It is what it is. Raider Nation. Yes, sir. Hey, just so you guys know, it's all about one team, one nation. It's all about the Raiders! Raiders! Shoot.